Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So in today's video, what we are going to go over are the top 10 ways to prevent your account from getting deactivated on the various apps. Stick around to the end so you don't miss nothing. So rounding this off at number 10, what we got first is eating the customer's food. Like you, you cannot be eating the customer's food. Like whatever you do, you just can't be like rubbing on the customer's food and think that you're going to totally be okay with that. Alrighty. So at number nine, what you cannot be doing is messaging the customer unsolicited messages. Like, for example, you can't like message the customer on Uber in the chat like, oh, baby, I want to do that like this guy. Yo, what a waste, man. This guy has no game at all. He's spelling words wrong and everything, trying to hit on a girl with a boyfriend. Come on, man. And this is, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but this is the reason why there's like this data protection thing. So when you need to contact the customer, it always sends like uh, a random number. And when the customer contacts you, it always comes from a, a random number. So it's never that we're sharing data with the customer for this reason, just so you guys know. At number eight, delivering food too slowly and letting it get cold is another way that someone can lose their account. Just look at this guy who lost his account for being too slow. The key to success is being fast but safe. Coming in at number seven, having multiple accounts. So having multiple accounts on Uber, multiple accounts on Deliveroo and Just Eat, or for example, having an account under your wife's name, your daughter's name, your grandma's name, and then you're like using their account so that one order comes to this phone and one quarter comes to that phone and then you just do them like that. So you're taking from us, you're taking from everybody. You got five different accounts for this person, this person, this person, this person, this person. And yeah, man, that's another way to get your account deactivated. Coming in at number six is when you are driving without the proper food delivery insurance. When you don't have Zego, if you want to get Zego and get 10 pound free on Zego, you can go to the link up there and watch my video, how I explain to you how to get Zego. Or if you say that you are a car and really in reality, you are a bike and you're driving with normal insurance for your car, but not the proper food insurance, then that is another way to get your account deactivated. So watch out for that one. Coming in at number five, we got when you do not have the proper equipment, when you don't have a delivery bag, or if you do have a delivery bag, but you got the Amazon bag that you stole from Amazon, then that is another way to get your account deactivated. So make sure you have a bag and the proper equipment or else you're in for big trouble. And in at number four, we got when you break COVID protocol, when you're not social distancing, when you're not wearing a face mask, or when you're not following the customer's notes, this is another way to yield yourself from, from keeping your account and getting your account deactivated. Yeah, guys, be very careful. McDonald's has some very strict COVID protocols and they change every week. Coming in at number three, and this one probably is one of the most important ones from the top 10, is being rude to the restaurant staff and being impatient and rusting, rushing. When is my order going to be ready? How long till my order ready? I've been waiting 10 minutes. I've been waiting 20 minutes. Please hurry, hurry, hurry. I have another order to do this, that. Oh my God, what are you doing? I've been waiting here for 45 minutes. You're not making my order. This guy come after me and you give him his order first. This, this, that. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. This is another way to get your account deactivated on the various apps such as Just Eat, Uber Eats, and Deliveroo. Guys, be patient and understand that there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of orders that these staff members are taking care of and they are trying to get us that food as quick as possible so guys be patient and do not get your account deactivated coming in at number two we got when you are using multiple apps at the same time for example if you are driving on delivery uber and just eat at the same time picking up from burger king mcdonald's and kfc all at the same time going to this place and that place and this place this is definitely a way to get your account deactivated because this goes against the terms and conditions on all three apps so guys if you're doing that then you probably should stop but 
I'm even guilty of that myself. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys, coming in at number one, what we have is sharing personal data of the customer, such as their name or their address online or storing it in your phone is a big no-no. And that is the number one way to get your account deactivated. So yeah, guys, try not to share the customer's name online, whether you put it on Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, anywhere, you know. Alrighty, guys, so that sums up the top 10 ways to get your account deactivated on Deliver, Uber, and Just Eat. So just don't do those 10 things that I listed in this video, and you should be safe. And another thing is... Do Alrighty, and the bonus tip is do not say that you arrived at the restaurant before you get there. That pretty much sums it up. If you guys think I missed anything, put it down in the comments. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so when your favorite delivery driver, Darren the delivery driver, posts a video, you're right there to catch it as soon as it drops. And that's pretty much it, guys. Have a nice day and make loads of money. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.